Okay, welcome back. In the first part of this video we left when the navigation bar was basically finished but it wasn't attached to the top when we were scrolling down. So this is what we'll be doing in this video. Now I don't want it to fix it to the top at the beginning because the style will be different a little bit. Because as you can see here it does have no border at the bottom but if we scroll down this border with the slide shadow will appear. Okay, so it's also a good exercise exercise for JavaScript and jQuery. Let's um, start by creating the scrolling class, um, which is basically the class we will, will attach to the navigation bar once we detect that it has scrolled down. Now, we want the position to be fixed, obviously. Um, and, and let me just add it for, for demonstration purposes um, right now. So what we can see right now is that it's no longer centered. And this is because we fixed the position, right? So what we want to do is say, okay, from the top, zero pixels, because it should be directly at the top. Should also have a set index of two because we want it to be above every other element of the page. We want this uh, uh, border on the bottom of one pixel solid and dark gray. And we want this uh, box shadow, uh, which should have two pixels vertically, zero pixels horizontally, a little bit of spread, and then here just a light gray basically. So now that this doesn't look the way we want, so we do have to fix the positioning somehow and as we want it centered, we're going to add some padding left and right to it. So padding left will be 10% and this is important, it should overwrite the default padding and padding right will also be 10% important. Now why do I choose 10%? Because the width is 80% um, as we specified here and here. Uh, here is the navigation bar. And 10% are half of the remaining 20% on each side. So 10% padding left and right. Now we have the content centered. And this looks pretty good, but it overlaps the first headline right from the start. And this is due to the position fixed. Now we could work on this by just adding a margin to our main container, um, taking into, into account the height of this navigation bar. But I don't want this because I want this little effect that it has no border um, when it's at the top and it gets attached once it starts scrolling. Uh, so we need JavaScript for this. And we could use um, the onscroll listener, but this listener basically fires a lot when the user scrolls down because it fires on every pixel the user scrolls. And this is pretty ridiculous because for us it's only important if we're at the top or not and we don't need this event every moment the user scrolls. So what we're going to do is we're going to set an interval which checks every 200 milliseconds if the user is at the top and if he is we do nothing and if he's not we check if um, this navigation area already has the scrolling class and if it does not have it and the user is not at the top we will attach it otherwise if he is at the top we will remove it. So let's um, start by adding the interval and we do this by using the jQuery document ready function because we only want to check if um, the document is uh, readily prepared because otherwise it could lead to situations where we try to append something um, to an element, the navigation, which might not be loaded already. So inside here we have set interval and we have this check scroll function, which we still have to write. 
and we will fire it um, every 200 milliseconds. So let's write a check scroll function here. It takes no arguments. And first I want to select the navigation bar. So var nav will equal top nav. And only the first item in case we should have several um, elements with this class. And then we want to check if document oops, dot scroll top is greater than zero. So if we are not at the top and we don't have the class of scrolling added to our navigation, we will have to add it. So nav add class scrolling, right? Now in case um, we are at the top and we do have it added because if we're at the top but don't have the class, we don't have to do anything. So in this case, um, I will remove the class, remove class scrolling. And with this code, what should happen now is that once I scroll down, um, we see this line and the navigation bar is fixed to the top. And once we scroll, scroll back to the top, um, this fixing will be removed and this border at the bottom of our navigation will also disappear. Okay. Yeah, looks good. So this is everything we wanted to achieve in this video. And I will bring out a lot more of uh, those CSS, JavaScript, tricks, things, which might be interesting. Um, if you have some special questions or ideas, please leave them in the comments. Any feedback is highly appreciated. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. So this is Max. Goodbye.